Aquarius. Hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. Welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. So there may be some new insights coming in for you. You may have recently just discovered this, uh, an opportunity may have been coming in. Maybe even a person might be entering your life, a new, a new uh, relationship. But either way, there's going to be offerings coming forth that really stimulate the heart, really make you feel like this, this is feeling really good. This is the beginning of something really, really exciting. You feel stable in this knowing. You feel, um, you know, really um, open to this new beginning with this Knight of Cups, right? It's all about a, an openness with your heart and a willingness to take action. And that Four of Cup, Pentacles, excuse me, represents stability and just represents um, feeling like things are going to be okay. And we actually see that here because we have the Star card coming up in the next row. So right now, understand that if something is showing up that is new for you, that you haven't experienced before, or that is different from the chapters you have been living, right? A completely new concept. Just know that whatever you have been practicing in your recent chapters, know that it was not for waste. Absolutely not. Everything that we are called to do and we feel compelled to do is for our bigger picture. So if you are having doubts about the person that you were living or the, the life that you were living and you now are now introduced to this new way of living and you're like, what was I doing? I can't believe it. What, why didn't I do this sooner? Release all of that beautiful soul and just feed yourself the love and the abundance that you deserve and bring yourself to a frequency that allows you to create the life that you intended, which is always from coming from a place of love and a place of connection. And when we feed ourselves any kind of limiting beliefs, we pinch ourselves off from the source. We pinch ourselves off from spirit's guidance. So please make sure that whatever you do in your life, do not ever feed yourself poison of limiting beliefs beliefs and of thoughts that do not serve you. Any kind of thought that doesn't represent uh, abundance or represent you um, reaching a solution, focusing on the lack of something, focusing on the negative of something, focusing on like, oh man, what if I, what if I did this wrong? All of that is nonsense. Let all of that go. That's not accurate. And you really don't want to bring yourself into any kind of wobble at this time. Because right now, Aquarius, things are looking really, really amazing for you. As a matter of fact, we even have the Buffalo Spirit, the Abundance Universe, the Abundant Universe will provide. And we do see that here. So you're going to go through a journey in the next little bit here. And what we can see right now is you're kind of going through some energetic shifts which means that whenever we go through energetic shifts, we have a tendency to become a little bit more internally conflicted. So we're moving forward on our journeys. We feel pretty confident that what, we, what we're doing is, is accurate, except that that five of wands in reverse is also kind of the reminder that things won't feel good for you if you have any kind of limiting belief. So that's why you always want to have a healthy connection with your higher self and with the spirits who are guiding you, right? And you have many different spirits, uh, animal spirits, right? Uh, uh, lost loved ones, ancestors, lost. They're not lost. They're right here. It's like their bodies have deceased, but you know what? The bodies store a lot of pain, so it's almost better, right? So at the end of the day, just remember that you always want to be looking up, moving forward, and you always want to stay progressive. Progression is the key. If you are not progressive in your life, you will slip back into limiting fear-based beliefs from the past. If you find yourself just in a limited space, feeling negative, seeing the lack that you think is in your life, right? That's an indication that there's not enough awareness being placed on your own progression. And that needs to be reverted back. That's all that means. So don't take that, don't take that seriously, right? When you're looking at, you know, how you want your relationships different or this and that or whatever, it, it, that's, that's an illusion of the mind. That's the egoic mind saying, hey, things aren't good, you know, you know, 
and then we feel bad. But you don't have to feel bad because everything that is happening is showing up for you at this time. The name of the game is to remember you have to constantly be progressing and it cannot just be in one area of life. You can't just be working all the time. You actually have to be intentional with everything that you do. Intentional with the foods you eat. Why are you eating the foods you're eating? Are you just eating them because it's there, because you're exhausted, because it's tiring? That's not gonna be good enough for your spirit. Your spirit's gonna be like, ah, well, that's not what we're here for, you know what I mean? You gotta tighten that up. Same thing when it comes to your exercises. What's the intention of your exercise? What are you getting out of it? Why are you in this space? How does it make you feel? Is it the energy that you wanna be in? Or do you wanna be more energized? If you're doing yoga every day, but you're not feeling energized, you're kind of in this like, you know, calm state all the time, but then a, a circumstance needs you to have ha needs you to have higher energy, then you might want to view that and be like, well, maybe I could incorporate in some exercise that puts me in a higher frequent or puts me in a higher energetic state. You always have to be intentional with what it is that you're choosing to do. And that leaves you feeling a state of a purpose with your life. The affirmation for you that showed up was, I was born to do this. It's go time. Aquarius, this is great. It reads, I am motivated and inspired to move forward with my creative ideas. I am connected to my purpose, which means the momentum is working with me to achieve my desired outcome. I work swiftly and focus on my dreams with clear action and insight. And the journal prompt for you is what opportunities are within my reach today? What opportunities are within my reach today? So beautiful soul, as your journey expands and as you experience more on this, throughout this next process, you're going to be going, uh, entering that time and space where you're going to realize what it is that is no longer necessary for you to think about, for you to have in your life. And something that you're going to lovingly feel the time to walk away from, the call to walk away from. We go through this in, in, in so many times, so much in our life, right? Is when we walk away from things that no longer serve us. You know, we eat different foods. We try different things, right? It's, it's a normal phenomenon. Um, the thing is, is that when we ever have energetic connections, we feel really connected to something, an outcome it's more difficult for us to let it go. And so we just want you to be aware of whatever it is that you do let go of, this is gonna give you a whole profound new energy to be able to, a new, a new a powerful, ambitious energy with that Knight of Pentacles to put towards your endeavors and stay consistent with them. So if you're ever wanting to do something and achieve something in your life and you just feel like you're just bound, you don't have enough time, you don't have enough energy, it means that you're gonna to have to let go of some other energy, okay? And the thing is, is that... Um, we're going to have to really be, uh, we're going to have to just allow for spirit to guide us through this, but with the interpretation alone of how you desire more energy to put towards your creations, right? Then you're going to have more things illuminated in your awareness of what isn't working. Okay. What isn't working. So, and you're going to, you're going to kind of know because the feeling inside of you isn't going to feel, it's not going to feel aligned with your intention. Right. It's kind of like if you're like, I want to, you know, feel healthy in my energy body. I want to have a, a lean body. I want to be nice and energized. But then every time you feel stressed or emotional, you go pick up that cookie or you go pick up that sweet treat and you feel that feeling inside of you. And you're like, this doesn't feel right, but I don't care. I'm not I'm exhausted. It's in those moments that we are only testing ourselves, right? We are only up against ourselves. And so we would just want to remind you that everything you do, have it have an intention, have it be for something. And well, not necessarily for something, but understand where your life journey is feeling good and recognize what isn't, it would no longer is serving you because we have to let go of things in order to allow for more things to come in. So beautiful soul, it might just be that time for you right now to go on a little bit of a cleanse, right? Remove sugar from your life. Sugar is a killer. Sugar's a killer. It doesn't matter what you, what kind of sugar you eat. Sugar is going to ruin your life. And that is the bottom line of it. If you eat processed foods, sugary, junky foods, it will keep you in a frequency that is limited towards, towards what you can actually achieve here on planet earth. When you let go of the things in life that are easy and that leave you feeling instant validation, right? Your life is going to expand. Your life is going to evolve. If you're wondering how you can get ahead in life, it's about tightening up the, the moments where you let go and you become comfortable and you, and you make choices off of that feeling of exhaustion, right? And it's about making the better choice. And by the way, if you want to clean up and, and detox a little bit, just go on a raw foods uh, cleanse. It's like the easiest way. And you can still feel the sensations of sugar on your tongue. It's just going to also become with 
hydration and fiber, you know, like grapes and apples and, and, and so forth. You can still eat those things, eat sugar, just eat it at least so that it benefits you, right? That's what I would say. If, if I was going to go on a cleanse, I would go on like a three-day raw food only cleanse and eat raw foods for three days, right? Just fill up on all the hydrating fruits and vegetables, cucumbers, apples, uh, whatever, whatever I felt called to do. And uh, I would just commit to three days because three days is where we get the most profound results. That's kind of the start. And that will allow us to cleanse and receive more clarity and be able to open up and be able to just feel our bodies much easier. A lot of emotions will come up to the surface, um, but, uh, but it, will, it, will definitely, it, it will definitely help you on your journey to just open up and, and, and feel the universe's guidance. Now, the affirmation or the universe message for you today is most people are just trying to survive. And this message reads, just remember, most people are so beguiled by your charm, awed by your confidence, and inspired by your choices, they simply forget to say thank you, please, and I love you like crazy as often as they feel the urge. Let's not be one of those people. Remember, beautiful soul, if you don't feel like saying, like being in a loving state, right? If you're just serious and driven and it's just not feeling, you know, you're not feeling like you want to be in a loving state, it's time for a cleanse. It's 100% time for a cleanse. Because again, there's only so much you're going to achieve with a frequency of serious and rigid and, 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 you know, and conflicted and negative. There's only so much you're going to be able to achieve and emotional, right? So when we are making those choices that are more from an emotional place, it's the, it's the clue. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm feeling a little emotional. I'm going to cleanse this emotional way so I can raise my frequency and get to the next level of the video game. This is all it's about. It's just reaching higher levels of the game and not staying in the same level that we're at, right? And so when we want to get higher results or get to the next step, we have to be aware of where the universe is pointing us. And if every time we do something out of an emotional choice, uh, that's the universe saying like, when this becomes not such an emotional decision and it becomes a choice instead of like, I need, that's going to be when that energy releases and, and that leveling up process happens. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there are messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.